Hello, happy Monday. How was your weekend? Good, great, excellent. I am Carl and I'll be teaching Time for Kids Big Picture Edition. Today we will talk about an incredible insect. We will learn how this insect stays safe from enemies. Before we discuss the article, Let's provide warm-up questions and pre-reading activities. Remember, warm-up should raise awareness of the topic and stimulate pre-existing knowledge. I have a page here. Hmm. Can you choose your favorite insect? An ant? Uh-uh. Bee? Beetle? Can they? Butterfly? Oh, I think you'll choose butterfly. Okay, please practice answering in a complete sentence. My favorite insect is a butterfly. Can you read the sentence in chat window? Thank you. Why is it your favorite? Colorful? Okay. What does it eat? How does it protect itself? Next, pre-reading activities. These serve to get the student interested in the topic. Today's issue focuses on bugs. Bugs are interesting animals. They live in many places. What do you know about bugs? Can you give me three facts? about bugs. Take your time. If the student gives fragmented answers, let's motivate him to speak in complete sentences. There, the student has now an idea on what the article will be about. Then we proceed to the article. Reading time. We ask the student to speculate first. We ask the student to describe the picture. Okay, what's this? Answer in a complete sentence. We may also ask questions related to this picture. Why do ladybugs have black spots? No idea? I know. Okay, scientists think this insect's red and black coloring warns other animals not to try to eat it. The ladybug contains a poison that tastes bad to most animals and may even make them sick. There, now you know. How about this one? I'm not familiar with this. How about you? Do you know what insect this is? What does it look like? Where is it? Make sure to answer in a complete sentence. Then let's read the article. Copy beetle. The fungus beetle looks like a seven spotted ladybug. That ladybug has a bad taste. Predators stay away from the fungus beetle because it looks like the ladybug. Wow. Are there any words that you do not understand? Can you circle those? None? Really? Okay. What does the phrasal verb stay away from mean? Hmm. Okay. Stay away from something means not to go near or avoid something that will have a bad effect on you. Can I read the meaning in the chat window? Let's use it in a sentence. Example, I drink a lot of water and I stay away from greasy food. Mm, healthy. How about you? Can you make a sentence using the phrasal verb stay away from? Next word. Hmm, let's see if you know this one. Okay. Predators. 
Oh, do you know what predators are? You're right. Predators are animals that kill and eat other animals. Can you name three predators and what do they eat? Let's see. Okay, now that the student knows the important words, he is now ready to answer general comprehension questions. First, what does fungus beetle copy? Ha ha ha, do you know? Second, why does it copy the ladybug? I think I gave the answer earlier. The answers are all in the article. If a student can answer the question, simply underline the answer and ask the student to read it. Example, first question, what does fungus, fungus beetle copy? The fungus beetle looks like a seven-spotted ladybug. There. Okay, don't forget to praise a student whenever he gives correct answers and motivate the student to give another answer when he gives unrelated ones. Before we end the class, there should be an application or a follow-up task. The student needs to have a chance to use the new vocabulary and should be reminded to use it as much as possible. Let's ask the student to choose three words on this page and use them in sentences. One, two, three. Okay, why do some insects copy other insects? Okay, here's the answer. Insects need to protect themselves. We also do that. If all insects on Earth disappear, within 50 years, all life on Earth would end. Remember that. That's it for today. Have a great day. Goodbye.